doing this video until I've seen a lot of my videos where you guys ask questions about my hair and things like that. So I want to give a little talk session with um, you guys about my hair. So if you follow me back on my last hair video and I have two videos of my hair linked in the description box so it'll probably give a little bit more information about it but then again I'm just gonna talk to you guys about my hair okay and back in 2013 I got micros and I had them in for five months then I got kinky twist and 14 so I took the micros out gave my hair a little break got some more braids in and then I um you know just basically you know kept them in for a really long time and I took them out got single leaves and then took them out again and I got kinky twist what I had a few months ago well with that being um, said braids took care of my hair how did it get long? I kept my braids in for a really long time. I know that's not a good thing, but if you want your hair to grow besides these nose hair infinity products, girl, I'd rather for you to go get you some braids, keep them in for a couple months, and then see how when your hair When I do. first took my braids out, all I had to do was just get a perm. This is last year. Get a perm and have my stylist clip my ed edges, okay? excuse me my ends how my stylist clip my ends and she said your hair is the only hair that basically did well when it comes down to braids I didn't really have to really do too much and she tells me I have that nice natural thick curly hair and like right now it's straight but when I wash it and everything and get ready to take braids out my hair gets really really curly I'm bulky I have a picture um, I'll have some pictures of you know throughout the years how my hair you know processed some throwbacks and some hair like pictures where my hair will just boosh at that to my braids out I'll have that at the end of the video but um, yeah so this time around it didn't do good it looks healthy I had to get it relaxed. It didn't do good. I had to get, if you guys watch my B Mom videos before I got my braids, I had my rear hair and the videos before B Mom, my rear hair was like right to here. That's how much my hair had grew with in those two years of me having braids. So I had to cut off that much of my hair because it was so uneven I was talking to my stylist and everything what do I need to do she said first take we'll drink plenty of water come like you did normally every two week hair appointment and then you get done your hair gonna grow back eventually because my hair do grow fast you guys the struggle was real a few years ago but now the struggle ain't real so my hair do come grow back instantly so basically for my hair from being right there I cut about that much off okay that much off so how I get the volume and bouncy I wrap my hair every night and I wrap it to the point to where when I wrap it it's wrapped sealed even my beauty teacher told me when I first started going to her wrap your hair every night even if you're not going anywhere wrap your hair because if you wrap your hair, it keeps the form of the style. And also, with the keeping the form of the style, your hair will be healthy and have a lot of volume to it. I barely put heat on my hair. I barely go without heat. Because when you wrap it, unless I'm going to this hair salon or unless I do need to touch it. But just on an everyday basis, like I can get up for work. And I can, you know, brush my hair down and boom. The form for me wrapping it, everything is awesome. So, with that being said, take care of your hair. That's my little story. What products do I use? Nada. Nothing. My hair is just shiny. And I just 
wrap it and take care of it. So basically what I'm saying is go to your two week appointment, schedule your two week appointment. If you want good healthy hair, schedule your hair for every two weeks. I used to get the saran wrap where she wraps it and then I sit up on the dryer for five minutes with my saran wrap and then she takes it down. That's all I get. I don't get no rollers. I don't get none of that. I just let her do my hair. She flat iron first, ran wrap, and then wrap it, take it down after I get out of the up under the from up under the dryer. That's what she do. And then I also get like a regular wash shampoo. Now, before I got this perm, the last time I got my hair perm was in March. My hair went that long. So imagine the texture had felt up under my braids. So now with me getting my my hair back perm, you know. It's, it's okay. It's doing okay. But I can go a long time without getting a perm. No, I never thought about going natural because I know how this head is.